All right, welcome to a Slander Entertainment special where we're gonna be talking about the Flash versus Arrow two night special that recently aired. Now, I'm representing Diggle, and today we got representatives for the Flash and Arrow. Doom Bows? All right, let me drop a synopsis on everybody. Over on the Flash, Team Arrow comes to Central City looking to talk to Barry and his friends about getting DNA evidence done in the search for Sarah's killer. Flash is also dealing with a metahuman that can change people's emotions and things get a little hairy when Flash and Arrow have to go up against each other because Barry gets hypnotized and turns into an asshole. Like a bitch. Now, over on Arrow, we got Team Arrow tracking down Captain Boomerang because he running around the city killing people and Argus gets involved and the Flash team comes through on a vacation and starts another team up. Things get hairy, we get another uh, little tiff between Flash and Arrow, but everybody works it out in the end and of course Diggle was there, and we got a whole Diggle subplot where he finally proposed to his baby mama. All right, so now we're going to get into the highs and the lows of this crossover special. Let me start off with my boy, The Flash. Tell me about what you thought were the highs of the special. Well, I mean, that episode was of The Flash starting off. I think that was a good way to start off the crossover event. Uh, it didn't really skip a beat. It was very high energy. Um, the highs, I got to say, what hit me first was uh, Oliver showing up to... To show that he's in uh, Central City uh, when he showed up to the crime scene. Uh, second thing I would have to say, Diggle was pretty amazing that episode. We I like that too. Yeah, we saw another side of Diggle that we never really get to see on Arrow. How you doing, Dig? You're fast. I mean, do you think he can do everything really fast? I keep secrets for a living, man. We got a little bit more information on, on Wells and he can figure out who people, secrets, identities uh, is for some reason. Um, I mean, we even got Joe to thank the Arrow at the end of the episode. Okay, Arrow. Give him balls. You'll tell you my best part? My boy Oliver put two arrows in Barry's back as he was talking that whole meta game. Oh, it's kind of hard to dodge embarrassment, isn't it? Or oh, how about when my boy Arrow took out two boomerangs? Precision, baby. What? Precision. How about with my girl, <laughs> Felicity? The top came burning off and that, that run. Come on, give it up. You got to give me that one. Yeah, I like that. I like that. That was a little really extra crispy right there. Don't tell a lot. <laughs> oh, my other favorite part, the name drops, baby. Uh, Bart Allen, right? You get hit by a bus or something? Everything all right between you and Speedy? What? Roy? Yeah, we're fine. Hi. Hi. They were in, like, a league of their own. So now we're going to go into the laws of the two-part special. Personally, one of my lows is wasn't enough Diggle, but that's all to be said and done. So, Flash, what did you think about the lows? On the Arrow side of things, um, it got a, the pace slowed down just a little bit, uh, you know, being in Starling City. So I would have to say, you know, out of nowhere, pretty much Starling City just became super grimy, like it was the glaze for some reason. Um, but I would have to say my biggest low was, I think Roy was kind of downplayed. Uh, I didn't really see much out of Roy. Uh, in this in this whole team up, it's like he got relegated to the side. Uh, we got a speedy shout out, um, which was was probably kind of funny, but it was it was still you know it was kind of royless. All right, Arrow, what did you think? Doom bowls. Let me tell you my biggest letdown. I have to say, when Barry and Oliver was having a little cry <laughs> moment, we can't have my woman. I can't have my woman, you can't have your woman, and they sit over there dripping tears in the espressos. I didn't like that. And another thing, not enough Firestorm. They showed it. I liked it. I wanted more. I wanted more too. I wanted more Diggle. All right, so who do y'all think won? Arrow, who do you think won? Dylan? Bows. a lot of bows. Okay, why? Because, but. First of all, he was in charge. He told Barry what to do. Okay, Flash. All right. This was Flash versus Arrow. So um, I got to say pretty much Flash won. He pretty much showed uh, Oliver what metahumans can do and how much of a threat they really were. 
I mean, I got Caitlyn on my team. Well, we got Felicity. But guess who can't commit? At least Oliver can get women. Oh, and uh, how many of them can stay alive? I don't know why. Won't you ask Barry's mama? As soon as we hear from Mora and Oliver's dad. At least Oliver's dad ain't in prison dropping the soap. Nope, he just catches bullets in the head. Oliver run his team. Don't get it twisted, man, because Wheels and Legman make an awesome team. Do you really want to go there? I mean, as a fan, I got the shirt, got the hat. I even got the footies, my dude. You over there with a Green Lantern shirt. It was laundry day, but I still represent them bowls. All right, so there you have it. The two titans of heroes on television have clashed. And of course, the real winner is you, the fans. We got almost everything we wanted in both of these episodes. We got Flash, we got Arrow, we got Felicity, we got Diggle, we got it all. We got shout outs to Firestorm, Speedy, Captain Boomerang was in there. We got Rainbow Raider. Started from the bottom of Smallville, and now we here with good television. Hate what that man does. Hate what that man does. Hate what that man does.